Got him. <laughs> wow, nice fish. What's up nerds? Welcome back to the channel today. We are testing out the Monster Bass Regional Box from the month of May, 2022. We're gonna go fish it though. We haven't done an on the water review with any subscription boxes in probably like 18 months. So uh, it's about time, let's do that. Today we're gonna be breaking down what's in the box real quick in the office here. And then we're going out to the water where we try to fish this stuff and see if anything bites. So I'll give you like my preliminary ratings. And then once I actually get to fish everything in the box, I'll put it to the test. I'll do you know a fair number of casts on each of these baits if it works or not. Mostly we'll focus on how I like fishing it, if it's a good bait in my opinion, and again, this is all my opinion. It's just like your opinion, man. That's what the internet's for. So if you guys disagree, you let me know in the comments. If you agree, you let me know in the comments. It's a fun thing we do here in this community. All right, so let's open this baby up. We'll see what's inside. Be sure to subscribe, smash the like, ring that notification bell, and then come back Thursdays, 8 p.m. Eastern when we go live though, okay? Cool. Saddest part about this box, this thing right here. Um, there was a manufacturer error. We were supposed to get a nice little drop shot kit with new tungsten weights from Monster Bass, as well as some hooks, whole setup, basically everything you need to do some drop shot because this month's box focuses on drop shotting. Super cool idea. I love it. Uh, I'm sad that I don't have that kit, but we will be getting them later. They're going to ship them out to us. All right. Instead, we get a bonus bait. So right off the top, your bonus bait is actually a Patriot 2.0. This one coming in this bone with red color, which they call nothing, which has no name on it, but they come with these Japanese katana hooks, which are fantastic. And I've fished these a ton. I actually did a whole video series with MB back in the day. I've been last July, last June, something like that. So like last summer, I went out, we fished in Michigan and just like this podunk middle of nowhere lake and we were knocking them dead, specifically on the bone colored Patriots. So I can tell you from experience, good topwater. But not to be outdone, they also included one of the best topwater baits of all time, which is this KVD Sexy Dog. So if you guys have not fished the Sexy Dog before, this is a top notch topwater bait. This thing walks itself. So if you're not good at topwater walking baits, you just do a cheat code, like start with something easier, right? This comes in a Tennessee shad. I don't care too much about the top color. I mean, that's cool and all, but mostly I care about the belly color of baits like this. So when I'm using topwater, I'm usually grabbing like a light belly or a dark belly. That's all I really care about. And then I see what they're biting on, but you can tell this thing is gonna do a lot of walking for you because of this super flat section right here. This is the magic. So you've got kind of like a spook body here, just the, the long blank that's tapered down at the back so it can walk and let that back sink down. You've got the flat section there so it can use the water to help itself move. You want that like really nice hypnotizing side to side action as you're walking this bait. So you get like a nice rhythm going with it and you make a lot of noise and you're gonna draw fish out of everywhere. So for me, I loved fishing these along those little like floating islands, docks, any cover you see around trees and then over the top of like weed edges and you know, long grass flats and things like that. You just walk this thing along and they go absolutely crazy. So this is awesome, great bait to be included. Then we get a brand new Monster Bass bait, which is a mid diving crankbait Six foot diver, it's called the Rolo. Look at this baby. They call this color Silverback Shad. It's got like this light blue there. A little hint of chartreuse on the belly, right? We got some white, love that. And then we got purple and streamer material coming off the back treble. That's gorgeous. So that is gonna give it a really unique look underwater. This is gonna be fantastic. This thing's diving down six feet. Look at the facial detail there, that eye. Gorgeous. We got the front red hook, kind of a staple for MB. They love to do that, throw a red hook on there, uh, which is not a bad idea. It's not something I care that much about, but it's pretty neat. And yeah, you're gonna get a ton of action. Look at the lip. That's why you get a ton of action. It's a unique lip shape that they use. You got your split ring on there, just tie directly to that, and you're gonna be a happy camper. This thing is, this thing is silent. Got kind of a, a got kind of a subtle thud to it. 
Um, I'm interested to see how that works in the water. I mean, that's what a lot of this just comes down to. Let's get this thing in the water. Let's see how it fishes. Let's see if we catch anything and we'll see if we like fishing it, right? But pretty neat little guy right there. I like it. Oh, look, an instruction manual. There's a whole guide in here about power shotting. You got some drop shot 101 tips, finesse fishing, post spawn action, all that stuff. And then you've got Chad Hoover there on the front. Just a pretty cool guide coming from a lot of different creators, which is awesome. Uh, we got a gift card in here for $10 hairs. You can't see my code. So we get 10 bucks, awesome. We get uh, one of those stickers. Uh, Epic Eric has been co-branding with Monster Bass lately and doing some of these cool little artwork stickies in there. You get your golden ticket. And then for whatever reason, we get a tour guide to Sebring, Florida. I don't know why. I just thought it was kind of funny. I was like, Sebring, Florida. So if you're from Sebring and you watch us, thank you. But I, I don't know if I'm going there anytime soon, but it's cool. So we got one more body bait and then we get into the drop shot stuff. Remember, it should have been four drop shot things, but we're missing the kit. So you're actually getting two plastics and some decent hooks. Actually, some of my favorite drop shot hooks. All right, so check this out. We got a square bill here from Castaic. This is my big question mark for the whole box. And it all depends on how this baby runs. We'll find out. I'm hit or miss on Castaic. I know a lot of you guys love Castaic. And I've actually caught one of my first, my first five pound bass was actually on a Castaic crankbait. So I have a little love for it in that way. But at the same time, I've just had too many of these baits from them that I'm just like, take it or leave it. You know what I mean? So we'll see, we'll see. I love square bills. This is a pretty cool craw pattern there. I like it, a little white and black to it. Nifty. Uh, biggest issue I've had with them in the past has been the hooks. Just bending out on like any fish. Um, we'll see. We'll see if these hold up. I think this could definitely catch me some fishies. It's got a decent, decent design to it. Looks good. It's a square bill. Hard to go wrong there. All right, so here's what we got for drop shots. Number one, spear point one aught drop shot hooks. I love these hooks. These are some of my favorite drop shot hooks. They're great because they have a nice little spot that like grips your bait. So it's harder to lose your plastics on these. And there's a trick where you can rig them weedless. So I actually did a drop shot 101 video over on the MB channel. If you guys want to go check that out, go subscribe to Monster Bass on YouTube and you can see it there. But look at that. So you got like from the hook eye, from the hook point to the eye of the hook, you got a pretty flat section there. So you can actually run your bait all the way up and rig it weedless. And I've done that, caught plenty of fish that way. I like it. There's also this little grip section here, which is not only nice for holding your plastics, like it just sits there really well, but also when a fish bites, it's a little bit easier to keep the fish pinned. Great hooks, highly recommended. Then we get two bags of drop shot plastics. They're all screwed up because I did that drop shot video already. I already fished these. So let's start out with uh, this one right here. So we got the X-Zone Pro Slammer. Big fan of the slammers. Look at that, you got a four inch drop shot plastic. The tail is where the magic happens. Look at this little tapered tail and the flat body. I love some flat body drop shot baits. So uh, I'll use leeches a lot, not actual leeches, but leech plastics, you get it. And then I'll also use the big bite bait Smalley Smashers, which are also flat and come in a few different sizes, but this thing is money. Look at the flash on this. So this is bass candy. It's just green, purple, gold, silver, and there's a hint of a little purple or lavender here on the belly as well. Tons of action, looks great, fish love it. Anything will eat this thing, I love it. Last but not least, we have one of my favorite, if not my favorite drop shot plastics of all time, which is the Z-Man trick shots. So we got that Elaztec material. This one coming in black. I've got Morning Dawn, Copper Truce, White. I mean, I've got a ton of different colors of these. And if you guys got a different color than this in the regional box, let me know in the comments below and let me know if you like it. But I love these. It's got a flat top instead of a flat bottom. And then this ribbed bottom, which is also tapered in a bit. Really cool design. Got the flat tail there, so this kicks off a lot more action. And because it's a Laztec, it's not gonna die that fast. Uh, it's gonna last a lot of fish catches, which is great. Also kinda sticks to your hook, which is nice. And they're super easy to nose hook. They'll stay on there really well. You're gonna catch a lot of fish with these, I guarantee it, they're great. And it's also 3.5 inches, so it's kind of a downsize. Probably my go-to size that I'll go with. You get six of them in a pack. You get eight of those slammers. 
So between the two of these bags, you should catch 150 fish, give or take. All right, guys, there we go. So we got all our baits in the box here. Let's go hit the water and fish them all for a little bit and see how they work. Let's go. All right, you guys, we are out here on the water. So we just unboxed these in the office. We're gonna rig these up on the medium light in just a second here. I think these are gonna work really well. And then we get to throw all this other fun stuff, which I'm actually gonna throw first because I've already fished the drop shot setups for an MB video I did on their channel. So definitely go check that out. But I wanna try some new stuff. So we got the KVD Sexy Dog here. I'm gonna start out with this on top. It's huge. It's midday, but we got overcast and a little bit of wind. So I feel kind of good about this, especially in this back area and anywhere we get around docks. So I'm gonna try this first. And then as a backup, I'll downsize. Whoa, throwing hooks everywhere barefoot. Always good. As a backup, I'll downsize to this MB Patriot 2.0. Once we get a little bit deeper, six foot diver here, the Rolo, definitely not back here. And then another one I'll be throwing back here is actually this one foot diver. So very shallow diving crankbait, this will be good. So I'm gonna rig these two up to start. We'll drop shot a little bit later in the day as it dies down. So let's start with this. This is definitely a bigger bait and this is not a big bait lake as far as I've known the past year here. I uh, just haven't had much luck on bigger baits, but that's okay. Because uh, part of the reason I get the box every single month, other than, you know, obviously working with the team, I was getting it before I started working with them though. And the reason I like to get it is so I can try out new stuff that I otherwise wouldn't throw, right? So what I know about this water back here is that in this back water, there's a lot of fish. And I think we can draw them out if we throw something a little bit bigger like this. So first of all, you can cast it a quarter mile. Oh dude, it walks without, no loop needed. I suck at topwater walking baits and this thing is so easy to walk. So the thing I've learned with topwater, I did some videos with MB about a year ago with these walking baits is you just want to get like a, like a lazy cadence going. And if you can throw it over some grass or cover, just give it a pop, 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 pause it, or just get a lazy cadence going. That's when I had the most of my bites. I've not had a topwater bite yet this year. <laughs> and there it is. First topwater slash of the year. KVD Sexy Dog now, unfortunately, he swiped at it and got stabbed. So we are gonna get homie out of here ASAP. But there we go. First bite on top, KVD Sexy Dog doing work. It's, dude, this thing is awesome. Cause it'll like dive a little bit after a couple walks. If you like really pop it, it'll jump. And if you just take a rod tip like this, it's literally gonna just walk side to side like perfect. It's basically like a really shallow shelf here and then it just drops off on the backside. See that? <laughs> literally calling it out. That's a good one. That's good for this lake, holy cow. That's a nice fish. That's a nice fish. Holy cow. That is a hell of a fish for this lake. You guys have no idea. This lake is king of the one pounders. It's pretty much all I ever catch out here is one pounders. Gosh dang. Oh, gonna get a treble. Gonna, gonna eat a treble. Do not want, do not want to eat a treble. No, thank you. There we go. Bait out, check it out. That is a good fish, probably about 16, 17 inches. They get long. Look how skinny she is though. Very skinny. Check it out, very skinny. That's typically what we get out here, but I will take this fish, gosh dang, any day of the week. Thank you for that. Nice top water bite. See you later, girl. Wow, I want you. Got that one. All right, we'll switch to the MB2.0. <laughs> Look at this guy. Look at this guy. This is, this is why this has been happening, y'all. This is why. All right, this is also the most dangerous part. It's when you get these little guys, they're the ones that make you eat a hook. Get 
He can't even eat a hook. There we go. All right, 2.0. Coming in hot, folks. So KVD Sexy Dog, currently sitting at three fish and a million swipes from Little Bass. Great bait. Verdict, nine out of 10. Super easy to walk. A little bit big for where I'm fishing. Be a 10 out of 10, pretty much anywhere you got big fish. This is a kick bait. Next, let's go with this guy, MB 2.0. Now, I'll be honest, I like the 3.0 a lot better. However, this will still catch us some fish, I think. A little bit lighter, a little bit smaller, two hooks instead of uh, three. Still a great topwater bait. Look at it walk. There you go. Still a super easy walking style bait. And it's because the slant of that body just helps it kind of walk itself. And you gotta watch it every now and then it'll get a little janked up, but all in all, pretty great top water. <laughs> there we go. Chunky little guy. Chunky little guy. Ate it pretty good, as you can see. I'm gonna plier this guy out because I don't feel like getting stabbed too much. Like that. And that's what you run into. Hey look, he unhooked himself. There we go. <laughs> Not bad. Not a bad little dude. There we go, we got one. So, overall, good topwater bait. They make a lot of really good colors. Uh, just the straight regular bone is probably my favorite color. I think the sparkle on here is fine. I think as we saw, the only catch we made was when the sun was still up. So might have something to do with it. However, I'm gonna go ahead and leave this KVD sexy dog on for the rest of my day here. Just whip this baby out there for some fun. So I was curious about this one. I know a few of you guys that hang out with us on the podcast, you've been talking about this thing with me. Let's test it out. I have no idea how this thing fishes. First test with any square bill is I need to know how deep it dives and if it rolls. Subtle action, tinny rattle. Ah, this is about a foot and a half. Very shallow diving crank, which is fine for out here. Very light little guy. Not getting much action on it yet. Power up to Super Saiyan Blue. There we go. There we go. Got one. Knew it was bound to happen. Get in here, my guy. Shake yourself off. That's fine. Well, you were bottom lift only. Until you made yourself stab yourself in the eye. There we go. No damage. There we go. Got it on the cast stick. Okay, bye. Let's uh, we'll fish this out of the channel, and then I'm gonna go with that Rolo, because once we get out here, it's a bit deeper. Also, proud of myself for putting on sunscreen, even though it was overcast. I was like, I won't need this. You will. Got him. Two. Oh, where are you going, buddy? Oh, not bad, not bad, not bad, not bad. That's a pretty good fish. Oh, second best fish of the day, I would say, easily. Easily. Hey, man. There we go. Look at that. A little chunkier than the rest. Bye, buddy. People think we don't like castaic on here. And it's really only because a lot of the castaic baits I've gotten in the past have had just terrible treble hooks. These are, these are not bad. These are decent trebles. Got some good action on this bait. How much more you can ask for? Okay. It's bound to be a bass in there. Yeah, there's a little one right there. Right off the bank. Run her down. Got him. <laughs> Three fish so far on the castaic squarey. Okay, okay. I'm gonna lose this one. Somehow I didn't. Good treble. Like I said, there you go. All right. Here we go. Another decent little guy. Whoop. Well, we caught three fish on this. So I'm going to take a break on it for a second. Pretty happy with it. I want to run my crankbait. So we're going to switch to the Rolo. Final verdict on that Castaic square bill. I'm digging it. Solid build. Holds up well. Awesome rattle to it. 
not bad. I'll give it a 7.5 out of 10. Have I fished better square bills? Absolutely. Is it a great square bill for shallow cover? It's fantastic. So very happy with that. All right, so now we're running the Rolo. Not bad, some good slash in action. It is in purple, but with the low light, we might have some good luck here. Should be diving about to four, five, six feet. It's got that uh, weight transfer system in it. So very easy cast. You'll hear it kind of click as I move into my back cast. Try this side, then I'm gonna tie up that drop shot. And all we're gonna do is we're gonna place this slightly off the bottom. Palomar knot, give yourself a nice tag. Once you got that knot centered on the hook, take your tag end and run it back down through the eye of the hook. There we go, just like that. Now we just need a drop shot weight and a plastic. All right, we're gonna have light for a little bit, so I'm gonna go with the bass candy. And then when that light dies, I'm going straight to either a copper truth color or this black Z-Man right here. Set this off to the side. We're gonna go pretty light. We got a 1 8 here just because the wind's not bad. And then all I ever do is a little tiny overhand knot. So now I just need to take our plastic and all I ever do is nose hook them. I mean, there's definitely a bunch of ways you could do this. Nose hook has always worked best for me. And I actually like it to come up and then through the nose like that, right? So with these spear points, it's gonna have a little notch it can rest in there. So it'll help it stand out a bit more. Okie dokie, we got a drop shot rigged. Got him. Here we go, a little drop shot fish. Okay, okay. Calm, calm, calm. Totally wrecked this drop shot. Look at this thing. Absolute mess. Boop boop. Later, bud. Bye. Got it. There we go. We're gonna switch. So I like this black color for overcast days, for sure. I fish a ton of these. Z-Man trick shot is probably my favorite drop shot bait. Next to the mule minnow, baby. One day, maybe that'll come in a box. Just saying. So just for the purpose of this box though, this is easily my favorite drop shot. Got him. <laughs> what do I say? First cast back on the drop. Decent? Ooh, that could be a decent fish. That is a decent fish. Oh yeah. <laughs> wow, nice fish. Might be fish of the day. There we go, get that out of my way. Get this out of my way. That fish put up the best fight. We got obviously spawning here, quite a bit bigger fish. So caught it right here, let it right back out by where we are. There you go, buddy. Make me some big fish. Whoo! Got him. Ooh. Side hooked. <laughs> All right, last, last fish on that. <laughs> Where's this big bass at? Got him. Come on, buddy. Come on, buddy. <laughs> bait of the day. Easily bait of the day. Oh, this is gonna hurt. Nope, got him. Oh, here we go. Oh, ain't nothing like that top water bite. All right, let's go finish this challenge off. What do you say? I'm gonna go run this crank right there. And it's gonna work. And then we're gonna call this video a win. Sound good? Great, me too. Doesn't have much of a rattle. I wish it was a bit louder. Loud does well right now. All I got is a weight transfer system there. What I mistakenly called a rattle. Got him. <laughs> it was a weight transfer system. <laughs> All right, well, stay on buddy. Damn, we still gotta finish this out.
and challenge complete all right there we go folks get this guy out of here we can call it a day Whoo! there we go done did it done did it all right you guys we did it fished everything in this month's monster bass box this is may 2022 we had two drop shot plastics drop shot hooks a drop shot kit that we didn't get but instead got a bonus bait which was the monster bass 2.0 top water with the kvd sexy dog we had the castaic square bill <sighs> something else and we had the new rollo six foot diving crankbait from monster bass so all around lots of decent baits in this month's box that will definitely catch fish as you saw today caught fish on everything in the box i had a lot of fun today top water was on those were my first top water bites for the year uh water temps are 67.8 so not a bad day at all i had a blast hopefully you guys did too and hopefully you're interested in this box if you are click our link in the description below go pick up your